Wow. Why nobody is here? I guess it's because there are some minutes missing to eight. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. What about you? Uh, yeah, I'm just arriving home right now. A little tired, I suppose. Yes, yes. Yesterday I, I had problems with the internet because I'm coming from from La Unión. Really? Yes, yes. I was what there. You, what were you doing so far from San Salvador? Uh, because uh, I have one project there in the in the port. And what's the, the project about? Uh, a, uh, it's a project for CCTVs, um, cameras, and moni mo uh, monitor monitor de cameras. Cameras monitoring. Yes, exactly. Monitoring You're talking cameras. about sur surveillance cameras. Yes. 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 Ah, okay, got it. For that, uh, I, I I was there, <clears throat> and when I. Returning to to San Salvador, mm -hmm. I had problems with the with the signals, and we we come very late from there. So for that it was impossible to connect to the to the class. Okay, I understand. Yeah. But here you are today, so we're yeah, ready. Yeah. I'm here now. Well, I hope that oh, you, teacher, you, you're able to see the video from yesterday. Good evening. So that you have an idea about what we were talking uh, during the class. And um, the brief review that we had yesterday as well. Yeah, I tried to see it today, but I was busy. All busy. This busy, sorry. DC. But I try to see a little bit. Yeah, especially about the explanation from the topic that is the passive voice used for uh, the present perfect tense. That okay. was, uh, that was, and that's the reason why I shared the links through the WhatsApp group because uh, that's relevant. In okay, okay. Practice and understand the topic better. Yeah. Are you ready for your speech? I could try. <laughs> okay, trying is better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too much. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, it's about time for us to start. Last night I can no go to connect again, teacher, because the strong is very electric. Mm -hmm. Um, in uh, the power is off. Oh, the power went off. Okay. Yes. Uh, today in the morning when when we go to my job, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how uh, the the power. You didn't have. Oh, okay. So yes. electricity was not back. Okay. Yes, I... Uh. I'm not sure what uh, I come back the, 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 the electricity. Okay, I understand. Yes, I think that uh, because the del sur, uh -huh. maybe remove some tree in the from the streets uh, on the streets. Uh huh. Uh, maybe to um, Comalapa. 
I see in the okay. in the Facebook page mm -hmm. that they put the, the the comment that they have a problem for for a uh, fall fall tree caída de árbol yeah yeah mm -hmm. the tree falls okay got it um okay but luckily everything is fixed now so you're ready to be in the whole class right this is too light too strong okay so um how are you feeling today diana roxana flor miguel welcome good evening thank you good evening mm, good evening um Today I feel a bit, a little bit emotional, but emotional. Oh, but I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um, I guess you're going to get excited when you're listening to your classmates talking about their topics. <laughs> I hope so. And you talk about your dinner. Okay, Flor is still at the office. Okay, got it. Roxana, what about you? Hello, good evening, guys. In my case, I feel very good and a little bit nervous about the topic that we have to share with class but okay. good but well, good overall right and mm -hmm. what's it, what's your topic about um um it's about happiness okay i like that i like that yeah i'm going to be taking notes about the topics so mm -hmm. okay let's see so we're going to get started. Uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here one more time. Uh, thank God we are okay. We are ready to start a new class. And uh, as, I, as you already know, today is the before last one. So tomorrow we're going to close the module with, uh, with the survey that we're going to complete together during the class. And um, let's say a uh, final review, right? Of everything that we have been studying, everything that we have learned, everything that we have done, uh, because it's been five weeks of, your, of our lives, right? Um, at least from Monday through Friday, right? Uh, that's exactly 25 days. And um, there have been many things, many things during the classes. So uh, that's something great, right? Because you are getting ready to go to the next level and uh, you are achieving one more goal, right? Your learning process. So uh, I'm going to get started by making a quick review from yesterday. As you already know, uh, we have some activities for today such as the Talking Tuesday, uh, where the rest of your classmates who were not, I mean, who didn't present yesterday are going to do it today. Um, and about last class, we were talking about, okay, so, well, these are the three topics that we listened to about the, traveling about a game and about a country so that was really really interesting uh, we were talking uh, or completing some exercises with using the passive voice and the present perfect with vocabulary about safety okay or risk safety procedures and risks so um safety majors or safety procedures right the same thing um we did the exercise, we, I explained you, right, the, the way that this topic is, um, is used, and um, we were practicing the conversation, okay, about the danger of manufacturing plants, 
and um, the conversation between Joel and Diego. So we complete, we finish our this exercise about the brainstorming right of workplace hazards. So uh, we're talking about all the possible scenarios or places where you could be in danger, right? Or you could have a, there can be a, a danger of hazard or a risk of hazards, uh, like slips, trips, falls, electricity and fire hazard, office hazards, and substances, right? That can be also a little bit dangerous. So um, uh, some of the equipment that companies have for safety are uh, gloves, reflective vests, protection belts, uh, ear protection, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear plugs, and they also store the tools in the in appropriate locations, right? So that they are not any kind of accidents or they don't lose uh, their tools because they can be stolen. Um, we answer the questions about it and that was it. Okay, so um, let me check for today. It's just basically that, and we're going to be discussing some risks and hazards on the on the business operation. Um, and it's going to be missing just a couple of activities for finishing the the manual and the unit number four. That's all that I had to share at the beginning of the session. Now I am going to take the attendance to check who is here right now with us. Uh, welcome Juan Jose, Harbin, Janari, Mariela. Good evening. Nice good evening. to see you. Thank you, good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling today, Juan Jose? Um, a little relaxing. Uh, all Tuesday meeting with the others. With the other teams. Um, yes, yes, all all morning. <laughs> in, in okay. Yeah, those meetings can be a little bit tedious sometimes, right? <laughs> Depending on how on how much time you spend talking. Uh, Mariela, what about you? Hi, well, so so. So so. Okay, Rosanna, better than yesterday? Um, teacher, I was talking a few minutes ago. Yeah, but yesterday you had some connection problems, right? Oh, yes. Yes, because the, the store was very hard. Mm -hmm. And yes, and it was a lot of uh, bios. Lightnings. Uh, I need. Yes. And so I have but today to sleep very but today was better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, today it's raining. It's not raining. It rained here in San Miguel, but just in the afternoon. Now it's okay. it's really fresh and no signs mm -hmm. of rain. Okay, mm -hmm. Harbin, what about you? Hey teacher. Hello. Everything is good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Jackie, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling today? A little tired. But A little I'm tired. But yes. with motivation. Yes, of course. Okay, that's all that I want to hear. Okay, motivation is the engine, right? The gasoline that we need sometimes even though our body is tired. And so let's check. Okay, Beatriz is not here yet. Mariela? I'm here. Okay, awesome. Uh, we continue with Blanca, who's not here for, for some reason. And uh, then we continue with Brenda. Nope. Uh, after Brenda, we have Diana. Here. 
I say here. Okay, okay, got it. Floor is still at work. Francisco? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Freddy's? Jackie? Marvin? Present. I'm here, teacher. Great. I'm here. Uh, Jennifer is not here yet. I'm here. Oh, you're here. Hello. I'm Welcome. here, teacher. Okay. Thanks. How's it going? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking, teacher. Okay, that's good news. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I feel that I'm becoming addicted to drinking tea at night, but it's tea with milk. I don't know, it's like I'm getting the custom, the, the, the habit of drinking it before the class. Huh. Maybe it's because- Who, it's have, who have this uh, uh, British habit? I am getting that habit. Why? I don't know. It feels good. You, you, you know that this, this, this habit I only see in, in the British people? Yeah, maybe one part of my blood is from there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so completely sure. <laughs> uh, somewhere in my DNA, there might be some British. Uh... Barbarian blood. Yeah, maybe blue blood, right, from the crown. Okay, Miguel, are you there? People are the nervous. Here, teacher. <laughs> uh, Fabio is not here yet, I think. Uh, Rolando? Yanari? I'm here, I'm here. Hey, welcome. I'm here, Rolando. teacher. Okay, Yanari, Thank you. excellent. Roxana? Present, teacher. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's get ready to ramble. Uh, I think I've heard that in boxing. Okay. Let's get ready to ramble. Uh, okay, perfect. I got everybody in the list. So we're set. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it, today is the Talking Tuesday and we are going to listen to your classmates presenting or sharing some information about any topic, okay? Um, However, I'm just going to remind you, right, that it's not exactly an evaluation because uh, the point of doing this is that you practice, that you expose yourself, right, to speaking in public, even though it's online. Um, because if you do that, if you lose the fear, if you get the, the ability to do it, then when you have to, to be exposed to that scenario in real life, you're going to have more confidence and it's, you're going to, have, because you will have the capacity to do it, right? So uh, maybe in a meeting, maybe in a casual conversation, maybe in a presentation, right? That you have to make in English, maybe on a trip at the airport or in, at, on the plane, right? So you never know when you will have the opportunity to use the language and be exposed to just speaking, right? Without a dictionary, without a teacher, without, a translator. So that is the point of learning another language that you can communicate, not only through written words, but also through speaking. That is the number one uh, way of communicating, right? Nowadays, probably uh, chatting or texting is, is very famous, very popular, but we know that normally before the pandemics, uh, people used to communicate a lot in person, okay? Orally. Orally, that was the number one. Um, so the topics are free, right? So you selected the one that you liked. Um, 
In my case, I'm just going to uh, tell you a little bit about some things that worked for me on my learning process. Uh, that's the topic that I chose. I told you that I was going to say some things, right? To start to break the ice. Uh, well, in my case, uh, I, well, I need the stopwatch. Wait a second. The stopwatch, it's right here. Remember that you have approximately two minutes, maximum two and a half, depending on how many people we have today. And, um, okay. So I started learning uh, English. Uh, my first class was in seventh grade. So I, I, I started in public schools, but since the first time that I had an English teacher, I liked the subject. So I felt attracted to it. I never thought that I was going to become a teacher. Um, my plan was to become an architect or something else. Um, however, after finishing high school, I discovered that one of my strengths was in, in English. And as I lived in La Union there, uh, at that time, uh, I, I saw the opportunity of uh, working at the port because supposedly they were going to open it and there were going to be a lot of opportunities to work and interact with people from other countries. However, it didn't happen, right? So uh, anyways, I thought about becoming a translator, an interpreter, but when I had to do my social uh, service or my social, my teaching practicum, let's say, um, I discovered that I liked teaching because of the reaction of the kids, because they were excited to be singing, to say in the numbers, the colors in English. Uh, they were fourth graders, I think, or third graders. I don't remember exactly. So from there, I decided to continue studying uh, the bachelor's degree. Uh, and I got my first job when I was in my third year at the university as an English teacher. That was my first job as an English teacher I, when I was just 21. Um, However, uh, what helped me to get that level of English to have the chance to work as a teacher, even though I was not finished with my degree, was that I always look for the opportunity to learn from everywhere, from songs, from books, from copies that I got. Uh, during the breaks, I try to ask a lot of questions in the classes. I used to practice in, or invent conversations with my classmates. Uh, I look for words every day idea that I had in Spanish, I tried to translate it to English. Uh, so I was trying to, to be in touch with the language, with the limitation that I had, um, because I, there were no smartphones, I didn't have a computer, so I had to find a way to, to learn the language. So what I did was to get a lot of copies, to get uh, music, to learn the lyrics. Um, and when I went to the university after work, I used to ask a lot of things to the teachers. I always try to anticipate the lessons. So the teacher said, work on unit number one, I finish unit number one, and I try to continue with unit number two. So I try to challenge myself to complete the exercises or to study uh, by myself to become independent learner. So I did it, and after um, many years of experience, I got the chance to apply to better better jobs and uh, thank God, right? Uh, all of those experiences helped me to get opportunities abroad. So I had the chance to go to the, to the United States. I got the chance to go to Costa Rica, to go to Honduras. Um, just by the, the knowledge that I had on teaching and on, on the English language. So, uh, and those opportunities came after university. So that's what I tell my students, right? Opportunities, you will have them in, in different moments of your life, but don't stop looking for those opportunities, getting ready to be better, to be prepared for those opportunities. And that's the reason why I encourage you and any student that I have to continue learning because there are no limits on age or time, okay? You can always learn, you can always improve, but you need motivation and being perseverant and a little bit patient because that's another, another thing. Everything takes time, right? And learning a language is not something easy. Now, I spoke too much, but it was something that I wanted to share with you. Now, your turn. Who wants to start? Who wants to break the ice?
Okay, Roxana, thank you so much. Let's welcome Roxana with a round of applause, please. Excellent. Okay. Okay, good evening, guys. My topic is happiness, and I have some phrases, and I'm going to share with you all these um, phrases. Okay. Phrases, okay. The it. first one is. Okay, yeah. The first one is happiness. Okay, my topic is happiness. And I think happiness is not something ready made. It comes from your own, own actions. And the key to being happy the key to being happy is knowing you have the power to choose what to accept, uh, accept and what to let go. What what to let go, let go, yes. And happiness is not out there, it's in you. And if you want to be happy, don't dwell in the past and don't worry about the future and focus on living fully in the present. And be happy, be happy now, be happy now because everything is good but because you can see the good side of everything. And the other phrase, phrase is, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. Okay. Wow. And I, yeah. Love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And I think that happiness is pretty important for us and we have to see the good things in everything and until we have problems in the life and I don't know because sometimes we have a, a, a moment to be for example sad or uh, because nothing is perfect in the life and and you have to continue and try to be happy and always uh, being smiling and all those things. Okay, thank you. That's Excellent, it. that was two minutes and five seconds. Congratulations. Okay, That's a perfect start for today's activity, right? Happiness with really positive messages. I love them, especially the mm -hmm. one that you said about uh, don't dwell in on the past and just focusing on living the present, right? So, yeah. and see the bright side of everything. So being happy is also a decision, right? Not something that you find, but something that you create. Okay, excellent. Uh, so who's the next volunteer? If you don't have any connection problems, right? And you already finished your dinner, don't forget to turn on your camera so that we see each other. Um, and let's check. Okay, who wants to go after Roxana? Miguel, excellent. Thank you so much, Miguel. What's the topic? Hi, guys. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, well, I I want to tell you about my topic. Is my last vacation. Okay. Um, I I want I want to share a, a screen. Give me a, a second, please. Okay, okay, okay. That's for teach. In the meantime, you can send the, the name of your topic or the title of your topic through the chat so I can take notes and I remember what everybody talked about. Okay. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Yes, yeah. my yes. best trip, right? Yes, my best okay. trip. Yes. Um, well, Ready, my set, go. Okay. Well, my best trip uh, was uh, when I went with my family, uh, the, the the Cameron Salinitas. This was a wonderful place. Uh, I never. I never been in this place. Um, it's a it's a, a amazing place. I remember that uh, we um, meet a lot of friendly people. People um, 
in El Salvador and in other countries, for example, uh, I meet uh, people from Guatemala, Mexico, um, and different countries. Um, how how did how did get there? Well, um, we start we start in Apopa City, then we take the the highway to Nehapa, um, Quesaltepeque. After that, uh, we take the street to Sonsonate, which uh, goes directly to the camera. Is is easy to uh, um, there with the the place. The time is approximately uh, one hour and fifty minutes to get the in the place. Um, we enjoy a little bit different food. Uh, for example, uh, fried chicken. A simple soup, um, pizza, a fry, a different fried um, food. Uh, we drank different, uh, for example, lemon, lemon tea, Coca Cola, and I, I, I don't drink beer. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> okay. Yes, I don't like beer, and we. Uh, enjoy uh, a lot of people. This is my family. Uh, my daughter is her her name is Marbella, and my wife is, her name is Elizabeth. It's a awesome. really yes, it's a really interesting uh, this place. Uh, I never been in this place, and I recommend you if you have the opportunity. Okay. And and uh, when was the trip? Was on September 2020. What did you do in this place? Well, walking in the, uh, the beach, swimming in the pool, and in other things we do. We were with me. Well, I, I say my daughter and my wife, how many days we were uh, there? Uh, one, one weekend. Uh, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Okay. This is the, this is about my best trip. Okay, the time is up, Miguel. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Reactions Thank for you. him, please. Thank you. That was really cool. I can see that you had a lot thank of fun you. okay nice family too a beautiful family okay thank so thank you for sharing miguel who is the next volunteer okay diana okay it's uh, not about your dinner right yeah yeah, I didn't prepare anything to be honest for this practice, but since this is about practicing our English fluency, uh -huh. um, we will talk about my team. <laughs> okay, um, I usually have dinner at 7.30 p.m. Uh, this is why sometimes at the beginning of the class, I'm still finishing my dinner. <laughs> We have uh, you have to mention that uh, you also have that routine because of your baby, right? Yes, and okay. today I have a soup for soup for dinner. Okay. Lately, I have a lot of soups, <laughs> maybe three or four times a week. I you have, have them, yeah, and I have them at lunch or dinner. And this is because everyone during pregnancy says that you should have a lot of soups so your baby is going to burn healthy. And they said that, right? <laughs> and I trust in that. <laughs> I also try to eat other dishes such as chicken, uh, meat, 
fish, beans, rice, etc. Healthy food. Yeah, um, but I don't eat eggs for some reason. Pregnancy has caused caused me to reject that 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 food. <laughs> I hope after pregnancy, I could eat it again. <laughs> and I like to include also some fruits during the day, like uh, uh, tangerines, mm -hmm. tangerines uh, oranges, bananas, plums. I lately love plums. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's the baby, not me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I didn't use to drink a lot of water before, but now um, I'm doing it. I'm drinking a lot of water during the day. And a month and a half ago, I couldn't uh, eat almost anything. I was scared. Really? <laughs> also, even if I knew did it did was something normal for pregnancy but thank god those ugly days are over okay <laughs> yeah now um um i think i'm gaining weight because my pants shorts shirts doesn't fit anymore don't fit anymore okay yeah. but i'm only gaining weight on my waist and belly my legs arms and face i think remains the same remain the same that's so good <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay thank you so much diana your time is up class for her please uh for sharing a little bit of her experience eating and with the baby okay Excellent. Thank you. Uh, who is the next volunteer? It's the first experience, so I, I suppose she has a lot of information, a lot of things to share. And you are looking at everybody like oh, this one. Be the, next one. the time is free. Uh, give me context to, to say something. Your what? Give me, give me context to, to say something about the about the 10 about what about me oh no i right now i am uh waiting for the volunteer to 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 give the speech okay the two minute speech um so i suppose that uh diana will have to give me a number and i will count the numbers on the screen to see who's next six Six. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six. Okay. They are they already participated. Miguel and Rolando. So the next one is Beatriz. Beatriz, are you there? For some reason, she's very quiet today. And we don't see her on the camera. So that's strange. After Beatriz is Francisco. Me? Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Where are you? So, uh, Beatriz, can you hear me? I cannot hear you. Yeah, you have to use the computer's <laughs> microphone again. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, now I hear you well. Okay. Luckily for us, there is no raining. You have electricity, you have internet. So that's good news. Today is a perfect day. So Beatrice. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Go ahead. Uh, can you see it? Yep. Okay. I'm not going to talk about anything related about me. We are talking about what can I do if I had about credit record. Okay. Sometimes you will get a bad credit record for any reason. For example, you lost your job, so you don't have enough money for payment. Maybe your company has no profit too. 
in whatever case, you will get a bad credit record. What can I do if I had a bad credit record? Well, each bank has a classification according to your payment, like A, B, C, or D. If you don't pay on time, the bank get a category or a classification about A, B, or C. What happened if, if what happened if, if what happened if you don't pay on time? Well, if you don't pay on time, but you make uh, an effort for paid your debt, and in 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 you have already finished paying paying pay and. Um, each bank has a customer service department. You ask them for a credit letter. This letter contain all your financial history. But what happens if you don't pay on time for more than 90 days? According to the law, you will be reported to the credit bureau. What a credit bureau? Well, credit bureau uh, are the companies that have all your financial history, history of the bank of credit user. Mm -hmm. You will be there for three years. If you pay and this year pass, ask the credit bureau like Equifax, Trans Union, Inforet, or Decon, and they can give you a credit letter and they, they clean your, your financial history, your bad credit record. Mm -hmm. You have to only ask them and they give you some step you, you, that you had to complete for, 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 for obtain, obtain this this credit letter. They provide an um, email. You will get your name or your ID. And you can con add, you, you can ask for this credit letter. After finish the three years, you your financial, your bad financial history can be can be um, can be disappear in this data data information. It can be erased or clean, right? Yes, okay. can be erased or, or clean. Okay. If you don't pay on time, you will be there for three years. Only in the only if you don't pay for more than 90 days. But if you had problems with the credit bureau, 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 and they bureau. don't, and they don't get the credit letter. Uh, you had the, you you had the rights for, for, for us for this lady. Oh. According to the law, you will be there only for two years. Okay. No, no more, no more than three years. Oh, okay, the time is up, Beatriz. Okay, thank you so much for sharing this important information, right? About financial situations. Okay, some reactions. A round of applause for her, please. Time to give you a thumbs up. Excellent. Now, um, if you want more information, you can call. Beatriz to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay, so let's go on. Uh, who's the next volunteer after Beatriz? Remember that everybody's going to do it. The faster you do it, the less that you have to worry. Like, I'm next, I'm next, I'm not going to be the last one. So you can relax after saying your speech. So, who, can, who wants to try it out? So far, we have had mostly women. The majority. What happened with the boys? The bad boys, the Backstreet Boys. 
what you're gonna do if the girls come for you okay so uh beatrice give me a number from one to ten say that this Seven. is a trivia game and they are going to talk yeah number seven seven okay one two three four five six seven harvin you are the lucky one. Oh, Francisco raised his hand. Okay, so say by Francisco. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know how a presentation, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's not necessary. Okay, I try to share my dreams. Okay, ready? Okay. Uh, I like to share my dream with. Okay. Perfect. Ready, uh, mm -hmm. set, and go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, my dreams. Uh, maybe if. Uh, maybe no. I, I sure. Uh, I would like to finish to pay my house. Um. Uh, this. Uh, this te this September ten, we have a. Ten years that my daughter and my wife, sorry, my wife and me, we start to to pay the we house. Uh -huh. the house. Okay. Um. I. I. Uh, uh, we have a a plan maybe to to finish to pay the the house these years, but I. If a uh, is uh, during during this all time is a uh, hard because we need to limit it to uh, others maybe privileges privilege but uh -huh. privilege uh, but I I am as excited because is a, a, a little month that need that we need to pay. Um, I believe in, in good. In God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or how do you say, primero Dios? God willing. God willing, in this year, maybe we finish the pay this month or deuda. Debt. 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 Only that. Okay. So that is your biggest dream, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. You got exactly two minutes. Really, really good. Uh, best wishes for you and your wife. Okay. Thank, thank you, Francisco. You. So uh, who's next? Okay, sure. I go. Me? If I can? Yeah, of course. Everybody will. <laughs> well, um, to tell you a little about myself, I'll be a bit long, but uh, here I share a, 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 a excerpt, extract, excerpt, no? An abstract, yeah. Abstract, yeah. Extract uh, from what I have uh, traveled in the world. Okay. Ready, set, go. Wait, wait me a minute, please. Uh, sorry, I need I need to answer my phone. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to Hello. give Gustavo the chance to answer. Harmin, teacher. I don't know, Yanari, your microphone is on. So do you want to say share your topic? Or, no, I think she's her audio is not working well. Harbin? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I will let me share my relationship with the soccer. Okay. Okay, the principal reason why I love the soccer is because when I was a child, my older brother always was watching a soccer match on TV. 
And this is the principal reason I, I love the soccer. And I am really, really fan of the soccer. I don't care what is the league. And if I can watch a soccer match in the TV, I watch it. So I, I have to say that the soccer gives me a lot of happiness and a lot of sadness because I am a, a fast fan and you wow. already know what's <laughs> happened with the past. Yeah. So, so that is the, the, the most important thing why I, I love the soccer. I make a lot of friends because that, because I, I know a lot of person, I, I know that a lot of person who like to play soccer Mm -hmm. That's just a little bit curious because I never want to be a, a professional soccer player, but I like to, to watch a, a soccer match. And oh, who can I say? Okay, uh, for me, the soccer is the most important thing of the less important thing because uh, it gives me uh, a lot of happiness, I, I really says. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I have to say that uh, uh, some some years ago, I was a really follow for the fasting, and I was almost in the. I don't care where that I, they are playing. I was there. I almost visit all the stadium here, here in El Salvador. I didn't know just the La Union Stadium. I don't if you remember the Balboa team. Yeah, but I never, I never there, I never have been there. Okay. I I this is the my topic. So you okay? Excellent. Time is up. Uh, okay, some reactions for Harbin, please. I'm going to look for a soccer ball here. Okay, perfect. So um, yes, something that that's a Inver's Stadium. Uh huh. Uh, I used to live close to that stadium when I was in La Union. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Harvin. Uh, Gustavo, you're ready? Okay, bye. Eh, sí, aquí estoy ya. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pero era, era de trabajo. It was about, it's about traveling, right? Your topic is about traveling. Okay? Yes, yes. Ready? Okay. Set and go. Well, I'm start. Uh, I'm starting studying medicine. Uh, in the beginning, but uh, I due to an accident and had to leave the, it became a, a business administrator. Uh, recently, I graduated, I had the opportunity to go to work in Canada and I was working there uh, for two years. After that, I got to another job in Panama when and I worked another two years there. With the but same company, the, right? No, no, with different company. Okay. Because I was working there with the company that make the the ampliation for the uh, Canal de Panama. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. So after this trip, uh, I had a stroke of luck, and they offered me a, a job in West Africa. Uh, being that job as a, a warehouse and logistic manager. Mm -hmm. I managed to get my, my master's degree there and online, obviously. And I visit many countries in Africa, among which we have an Equatorial Guinea, Congo Brazzaville, Cameroon, Nigeria, Guinea Bissau, Senegal, Mozambique. And as the company was based, based in, in Europe, then also take the opportunity to visit countries such as Portugal, France. Spain, Germany, uh, Ibiza, Italy, and this those part were of, for for tourism, right? For pleasure. Yes, yes. All all this all all this country was was pleasure. Yeah. And I think the the this has been the more the most exciting part of my life, and and the one that's the giving my best experience, because and I grow up like a professional. And also, uh, I I can know uh, many countries, many cultures, uh, people that it was a uh, very, very uh, 
friends to me uh, for different countries in uh, in I think it's, it's it's a pleasure knows all these kind of people, and I think it's it's a blessed from from God is is have a, a all people in my life. Okay, excellent. Thank you okay. so much, Gustavo. We appreciate it. Okay, some reactions for him too, please. I will use this one. Okay, there you go. So we're going to fly to the next volunteer. Who's the next one? I see some people smiling like, I hope the teacher doesn't pick me. <laughs> I think I will go with the people that don't have the camera on, right? So maybe they are preparing something special for us. Uh, Gustavo, give me a number from one to 10, please. What is the Google girl? I don't see her. I don't know what happened. She was here yesterday. She asked about you. Interesting. <laughs> she presented so, about Korea <laughs> yesterday. Uh <-huh. laughs> Number six. Number six. Okay, let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fabio, you're next. It's Destiny. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we talk, I will talk about uh, video games. Okay, I thought and... you were going to talk about stress, like, uh, stress. Okay, <laughs> no, video games. No, ready? because, uh, okay, ready. Okay. Uh, so. Video games. Uh, I, the first time I have played a video game was like when I have four years old. And it work. was in uh, when I were four years old, mm -hmm. and it was a police station, a copycat console, but it has it have it has uh, the Nintendo games, mm -hmm. and that catch me that 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 first time seeing the video games catch me. Uh, since that, I been playing a lot. Not that a lot because my father, <laughs> my parents uh, give me all to play, but uh, that hobby, it start them. My my parents only buy me counting the police station, two, two consoles, the N64 and the police station. Okay. Uh, I played in the N64 a lot. I like uh, strategic and puzzle games, but I also like all, all, all other kinds of games. When I were uh, like 14, I buy uh, with the saving money, I buy myself a, a Game Boy Advance. I still uh, have it in my room, uh, but uh, it got uh, the battery goes off, so I didn't play it anymore. Uh, and well, uh, my father bought a computer when I was 12. When I were 12 when years I was 12. old. And when I was 12. When I was 12. Yeah. When I was 12, 12 years old. And he gave me a disc with 12 or archive games. I don't know where he got it, <laughs> where he got it, but he gave it to me because he, he knew that I like uh, that, that kind of thing. I even try or I even had, I have that in my mind, studying video game uh, development because I like that that career. I have a study about myself how a bit a little bit of programming to to mm -hmm. uh, to make that possible. But I'm uh, thinking about studying in a, in a university on a uh, high school uh, that uh, right now I had bought myself two consoles. I have the two around here, the Switch uh -huh. and the PlayStation 4. And okay. I keep playing a lot. <laughs> okay, excellent. Once a gamer, always a gamer. Okay, a gamer, thank you gamer. so much. Uh, Fabio, let's give him some reactions, please. Really good. So we go on with the next volunteer. Fabio, who do you pick? Or what? Uh, five? Five, okay. 
one, I'm counting the people that haven't participated, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Mariela, you're next. Okay. Okay. What's your topic? Mm -hmm. Well, I share the screen. What? Oh, you share the screen, okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay. Let's go with the Ninja Turtles. Ready, set, and go. Well, the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are more popular in the United States. In Latin America, it's not much. But they were created by Kevin Edsman and Peter Lev in Mirish Studios Company. Okay. Well, uh, for first, uh, they was created by like a parody and tribute for to Frank Miller, and the creators have only planned to do a one edition, but it became so popular and so a lot of copies that creators decided to continue the comic. And at the beginning, all the two all the two groups had the same Red Ninja masks. And it was the first and the series where they wore different mask color for the first time to make it easier for children to identify each other. Uh -huh. The series was many shines about the original story because the original comics the are, are, were more serious mm -hmm. in that. They are ninjas, they have no problem with killing people. <laughs> Their objective is to take revenge on the other. Well, because the, the master center was a normal rat. Uh, it was a uh, Hamato Yoshi pet. And Hamato was a ninja and split a splinter learned martial arts um, by imitating him. Um, then one day the shredder uh, killed Hamato Yoshi. And so Splinter was living in the sewers alone after that. And one day, the Splinter um, was an uh, accident car. Then the, the uh, car throw, throw a strange substance and a kid that has uh, four tutors, they, they were his pet. He accidentally threw out and the turtles and the system fall in the sewers, then they, they mute up with the systems. Okay. And that's how the four of them were yeah. born. Well, they are like brothers. Um, his name is Leonardo. Normally he is the leader and he is the most skilled with ninjutsu. And the owner and the family are the most important for him. Um, Rafael is the stronger and the most aggressive. He's usually in bad moods, but he loves his family too. Mm -hmm. And Donatello is the most intelligent. He, he likes the technology and he also is pacifist. He don't, doesn't like fight too much. And Miguel, Michael Angel is the youngest and he's the clone of the group mm -hmm. and he could also consider the faster than the, the his brother okay and oh, that's, so. that's it okay perfect and he loves pizza right thank yes, you so there are much many congrats, that will be congrats. All. i really excellent. like excellent <laughs> some reactions for her please congrats congrats so it, it brought you some memories, I suppose, from your yes, childhood, right? Yes. Okay. So I was then, a child. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Let's go on with the next one. Uh, who's the, the volunteer? Or give me a number, uh, Mariela, if they do not volunteer. Mm, seven. Seven. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, uh, six, and seven. Jennifer? J 
Jennifer, Hi, are you good. there? Hello, good evening. Yes, okay. I'm here. In the meantime, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So you get ready. Uh, Beatriz, are you there? Yes, I can see you. Excellent. Uh, who's next? Mariela. Thank you. Okay, Blanca is not here. Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Diana. I'm here. Floor. Francisco. Fredis. I'm here. Okay, Laura is not here. Teacher. Okay, thank you, Francisco. Jackie. Okay. Arvin. I select. I'm here to talk about social networks. Okay, wait a second. Okay, Jennifer is the one that is presenting um, right now. Wait we know that social networks have been changed for okay. life. Wait a second, Jennifer. I'm going. And um, I think that Jennifer. for some people, at the same time, have um, <laughs> good okay. things. But for others, not because I consider that has bad uh -huh. effects in some occasions because we spend so much time in social on social networks, sorry. And actually it's one of the reasons that we procrastinate or homework or something in our jobs? Well, the first question is, are social networks good or bad? In my opinion, it depends. It depends how can be used because some people watch some videos that can help in their education on YouTube or even uh, on Facebook, but other use watch the some videos that doesn't that don't the where we don't learn anything. And some statistics about it, we can show it in this image. As an average, WhatsApp is the most use app with five hours in the in other people. Um, Spotify, four hours with 24 minutes. Facebook, four hours, two, and YouTube, three hours. I just select or I just choose in this image the most popular network, social networks because are the most popular. But we know that in this day and age, TikTok is one of the popular. Um, but it's more used for millennials. I have been reading um, millennials sometimes can spend 20 hours per day. And if they uh, watch something that help them to grow up in learning could be good, but if not, they are just wasting their time. That that's... is what I think. Okay. Actually, social uh -huh. network affect uh, mental health because create some uh, something that doesn't exist like you watch a picture or you look at a picture that, or a woman who doesn't exist, an unreal image from someone, because we just show to the world the best thing, of course, of our life. But besides that, there are many things that are not that good at all. OK, got it. Excellent. And in Excellent conclusion, topic. I think that if we can use our social network in a good way for learning something, for example, um, on Instagram, we can follow um, many many users that learn that teach. Sorry, 
English and teach uh, phrasal verbs, how to pronounce some words, and pretty much that is what I think. Okay, there you go. Important information about a social network with some statistics, right? So thank you, Jennifer. Some reactions for her, please. And I'm just going to check, right? The last people in the list. Uh, Juan Jose, are you there? Gustavo? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Okay, excellent. Miguel? Yes, I'm here, teacher. Fabio? Yes, teacher. Teacher, I'm, I'm here. here. Nice, I'm here. Gustavo. Okay, Fabio, Miguel, yes. Okay, uh, Rolando and Janari. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, and we have Roxana. Present teacher. Laura, you're back. So we continue with the next volunteer. Uh, Jennifer, give me a number from one to 10, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Drive safely, please. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm, I'm just out of my work okay, and I'm okay. driving now. Okay, Thank we're you. going to wait for you. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer, number? Number eight. Eight. Okay, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So, Brenda, you're next. <laughs> okay. I have to say that I don't have a topic because for me, this is new that we have to talk, but I will talk about something that maybe everybody is needing to know or needing to listen about, and that is happiness. I know that if I ask everybody of you, everybody will be having like a saying or like a concept about what means happiness for them. And maybe there are many people around the world that for them happiness means different things. But sometimes we are just looking for happiness out of us when we have to realize that most of the time for not say always happiness is inside of us. Sometimes what we need is just accept the reality and see what things we can do to do it better in our lives. Don't complain and take advantage of everything we have by our hand or by our side. And um, there we can find the happiness we have. And uh, if I can say something about, about it is that Many times we can say, okay, when I finish my major, when I finish my college, I would be really happy or I would be really happy when I uh, buy my own car, my own house or whatever we want to have in our life. But sometimes what we don't know is that maybe by that time when we reach our dreams, maybe the people that we love and we have there right now, maybe they won't be there tomorrow when we get what we want. So what we have to do is Load the ones we have closed and let the things happen as they have to happen. And that's it. Okay, okay. I like that perspective. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, reactions for Brenda, please. Okay, don't wait for the perfect moment, right? Take the moment and make, make it perfect. That's what some people say. Um, so, Brenda? Give me a number from one to five, please. Five. Five, okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Freddy's, you're up. Okay, good evening. Good evening. My topic is grandma's birthday. Go ahead, ready, set, go. Okay, like about around two years ago, on family we celebrate our, gram our grandma's birthday. Mm. So we meet up on my grandma's house. The funny thing is that, that in that day I had work, so uh, I asked for a work permit, they gave it to me. We got out from our house to go over there like around five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock in the morning. 
because we need to have to buy some pollo campero to take for everyone. So it, it was fun. So we went all the way to Santa Clara, San Vicente, visit her. In, in the house, we started uh, uh, putting tables, chairs, some balloons, bringing the cake, even though some other families brought some mariachis. So it was a nice birthday. The thing that she was happy with her birthday, we, we were like around more than 100 people. Really? Yeah, so like, wow. we, were, we were just family. Uh -huh. All family together, no one was, uh, no one was a particular person. The thing is that we, all, we always hear like her smiling, happiness. She was enjoying her birthday. Mm -hmm. we're, we're supposedly celebrating her 90 years old birthday. So the whole day she had fun and everything. The next year that we went to visit her for her birthday and we're celebrating on family, she's like, you want me to tell you something to everyone? We're like, what? Last year you were celebrating my 90 years old birthday and actually I was having 89 years. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a big party because we, we thought it was her 90 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it actually was 89 that she was having. So we celebrated one year earlier. Earlier. Yes, but she's like, I, I love the party. So I didn't want to mess, mess it up by telling uh... you it's my 89th birthday. Okay, okay. Awesome. Oh. Is that all, Freddy's? Yeah, that would yes? be. Okay, excellent. That's a really nice uh, story. Thank you for sharing. Okay, so grandmas are treasures, right? Excellent. Uh, we continue with the next one. So we, ha we just got right now Juan Jose available and Jackie. So who wants to go? Okay. Okay. Uh, Juan, Juan Jose, uh, Jackie raised his hand. Uh, well, her hand, sorry. So. Okay. Let's I'm going to speak chance. about my about my goals and aspiration. Oh, okay. So, Jackie, we can wait. Okay. Um, uh, that, uh, excuse me, my battery is off. It is off. It is off. <laughs> Um, I think because my cycle was very difficult, mm -hmm. uh, I thought I would not even uh, have a bite, <laughs> for example. Uh, my cycle was difficult. I studied in a public school, then in, in, in Framen, and finally in the USA, I finished uh, architecture. Uh, but when I was I, when I was I like to watch my dad construction project. Uh, he, for example, worked in San Miguel building the Institute uh, San Francisco Menendez, and my father building, and the Institute for Hokoro, um, Hospital and Ilovasco, and Nova Concepcion too. Uh, and like to to watch uh, the construction. Um, I worked after my, my graduating. Um, I worked for 10 years, uh, old, 10 years, 10 years in all in geos, in NGOs. Mm. And I never imagined working outside of El Salvador, but I did work in Guatemala for two years, in Peru, in Bolivia. Uh, I never seen that I could to build in that uh, country. Uh, by, by my job, it was continuous studying. I studied civil engineer after, and a master degree in 2011. But in this moment, I, I only teach at the university. I work for 20, 25 years in building. And in this moment, I have 20 years teaching at the university. Uh, I said my student that barrier are in the mind, are in the mind. Um, but my great goal 
and better. Uh, it was um, to see to my oldest daughter graduating from engineer industrial, my second daughter for accounting, and my third daughter in chemistry. Uh, it was better for me. Uh, my third daughter speak English very well, and now I can die happy. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay, that's how dreams come true. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, uh, Juan Jose. Jackie, your turn. Okay. Ah, uh, teacher, I'm uh, nervous. Really, really nervous. I don't and know it, why. <laughs> it's it's not nervous. You are excited. <laughs> no, that's, that's I think a, that I'm as a feeling that we confuse, but it's is good mm. yeah. <laughs> okay um well i'm going to start um did you know what is the dirtiest part of the human body oh. the dirtiest part of the human body the no no the hands no I I'm going know. to tell you, and uh, uh, excuse me. Go ahead. No. Okay, now the dirtiest body part of uh, the human body is our mouth. Interesting, right? Is the dirtiest part because of it has maximum bacteria and a lot of number of germs and by getting frequently contact with them. So, um, well, <laughs> best advice for a healthy mouth is to clean it twice a day, at least. But uh, I'm going to share a screen with you. Yes, it's true. Uh -oh. It's true. It's not an, a story. It's something <laughs> that we can see. That is not going to traumatize us. No, 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 no. It's another question. Why is important to keep your thin, your teeth, sorry, clean? clean. Okay. Exactly. That brushing is not just um. Well, some hairs in your mouth is thicker teeth. And this is called plague. It's almost invisible. Plague can cause decay. Decay are little holes in your teeth. And so we want to keep plague away by brushing and floss. That brushing is not just uh, about moving some toothpaste around your mouth. You must focus on the corners, nuts, and plaque areas. Brush your teeth from the outside um, of the teeth in the inner side. You must to do that at least twice daily. Mm -hmm. And the most important are uh, before the breakfast. And the last thing you will do or you should do before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Each time brush for at least two minutes. Um, I have a technique to brush my teeth um, every day. I listen to uh, my favorite song and when I, while I am brushing my teeth and you can practice that. And when the song um, is over, it, you finish. Exactly. Okay. Uh, it's very important to know that it's wrong to brush your teeth straight after a meal. Why? Mm, because this will damage your teeth, especially after acidic food, such as fruits or soft drinks. And the acid, I don't know how to pronounce that. What? Acid can, uh, can uh, soften the enamel of the teeth and the brushing will warn it, burn it away. In this case, you must wait some time to give um, the saliva. Saliva. The change, 
saliva, thank you, to change, uh, the change to neutralize the acidic media in our mouth. Okay. And Time now is, uh... you know what is the dirtiest body, uh, part of the human body. Okay. And thank you for your attention. That's all. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing this important information for our health. Uh, reactions for Jackie, please. So now you know. Uh, next one. Uh, I'm not sure if Floor is already at home, but or Janari has is able to communicate right now because she was having some connection problems. So brushing your teeth, it's really, really, really important. And it's cheaper than going to a dentist. <laughs> okay, so let's go on. Uh, so I think, yeah, we have issues with floor. Uh, Laura is on the way home and Janari has connection problems. So it won't be possible. Now, uh, I want everybody please to give yourself a big round of applause this was amazing and as i told you i have a lot of things i had a lot of expectation and a lot of things to learn from you so thank you for sharing and i hope that this motivates you right to practice more uh, you don't have to wait right for for someone to tell you prepare a speech you can prepare them by yourself and record yourself with your cell phone, with a video, only your voice, uh, talk to the mirror, right? And try to uh, expose yourself more, right? To speaking, because that's the way that you get confidence. That's the way that you get practice, experience, and then you are ready to go to the real world and practice, right? Be exposed to, to the language. So uh, I hope you liked this activity. Also, it's part of the closing of, uh, of the module, right? Because I wanted you to hear you and, um, and have the chance, right? To have an idea about your progress, how you're using the language. But more than me listening to you, I wanted you and to listen to each other, okay? That was my, my main purpose, okay? Now we're going to move on. And as I told you at the beginning, right? Uh, Firescape plan article and discussion. So we're going to take a look at the exercises. Um, we're going to read the following paragraph and underline the passive voice uh, sentences and check your answers with a classmate. Um, I don't know if you would like to say something or ask something about the activity that we just finished. Was it something good for you? Um, was it useful? Did you learn something interesting, something new from your classmates? How did you feel? Jackie said that she was nervous, but that's normal when we have a, a new experience. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, yes. yes. I love, um... Asensio, one minute speech, the trip that he had to Africa. Oh, okay, okay, excellent. That was interesting. Yes, yes, it was. Okay, so you see, that's the best way to learn from each other because everybody has a different point of view. Everybody has a different world in his or her mind, right? And everybody has different experiences to share. So. That's why I love this, this, this kind of uh, opportunities, right? To interact with people from different places, from different backgrounds, different areas of expertise, right? So good. I hope that you can continue together learning, working, right? Practicing. Um, so let's go to this exercise. Number six uh, It's about underlining. So I'm going to help you out. Uh, so which of these sentences are using the passive voice? Can you identify them? 
Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Uh, lately, right? That's the exclamation. Hopefully the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. So where can you find the passive voice in, this, in, this, uh, in these sentences or in this text? Has been left. Have been left. Yes, have been left. Have been taught. Have been has, taught. Has been interested. Uh, have been taught, then you said has been interested. Yes, correct. Has been interested. You're missing one more. The has negative not one. Informed. Has, has not, not been, been informed. Has not correct. Been informed. Has not been informed. Excellent. So this is the way that we use the passive voice in the with the present perfect, right? So uh, in order to move on and uh, and understand this a little bit better, okay? We're going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to send you to breakout rooms with a group of your classmates. You are going to practice reading this paragraph uh, individually, okay? Reading it aloud, okay? Reading it out loud so that everybody can hear. And then you are going to do exercise number seven. So, uh, in your group as a team, you are going to choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson or one hazard that you consider is really, really serious, right? Um, and then you're going to brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to that particular hazard. For example, if we're talking about, um, let's say, false, Nah, that one, that one, that wouldn't be so risky, right? Mm, let's say fire. you pronounce out or told. Which one? Have been taught. Yes. Have been taught. Taught. It's like pronouncing it like T O T. Taught. Taught. Uh huh. Have been taught to follow the rules okay so let's suppose that is fire right so uh what three measures me measures uh could be implemented to prevent fires in any specific context so to give you an example okay to give you an example i am going to move to the next one here you have a, let's suppose, this is a poster, right? You're not going to make a poster, uh, but you can make a little, I don't know, like in a PowerPoint, you can write down the three majors, right? If you want to illustrate it, that's okay. Um, like this, like if you're going to post it in what, or, or to stick it on, on a wall of your company, right? Because that's normally what they, what they do. So this is an example, new safety measures, attention, right? To prevent falls, slips and trips, that's one of the, the, the dangers or hazards that we saw in the previous lesson. Remember two, and here are the three uh, measures. Store all tools in proper location when not used. Number two, uh, Diana. Keep all tools clean in a good working conditions. In a good working conditions, that's correct. Number three, Juan Jose. Okay. Where? Uh, where? Where? Of safety uh, gear? gear. Why, you, gear. Um, uh, why, why you? you are in this area? Okay, correct. So those are three examples. So think about the hazards. Okay, I'm going to show you the hazards that we discussed in the previous session. 
right here. So uh, we talk about office hazards, electricity and fire, ha hazardous uh, substances, slips, trees, and falls. So you can choose with your classmate, with your group, right? Which of these is one of the most dangerous ones, okay? And think, okay, brainstorm, give ideas about three measures that you could implement in a company, right, in a, in a work area so that people can be careful and, pro and you can protect them, right, by following three specific measures that you are going to propose, okay? So you make a little virtual poster, let's say, um, similar to the one that I show you right here, okay? And then when we come back to the session, you are going to share with us what you were doing in the breakout room. Is that clear? Yes or no? The post-its, I, I didn't understand well. The poster. Um, you're just going to open one, let's say PowerPoint, right? Because over there you can use a lot of things. Uh, and you're going to write down the three measures to prevent the hazard, okay? So uh, like if you're going to inform or prevent your, your coworkers, right? for a specific hazard. Yeah, three measures, three safety measures, okay? And you are going to practice first reading the paragraph out loud. So I want you to practice also pronunciation. I will repeat quickly. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book, okay? So, um, that's an expression, right? Follow the rules by the book. That means follow the rules uh, strictly, the way they are, okay? The rules by the book. And that's it. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. You are going to have exactly, let me check. Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to practice this, to select the hazard that you're going to focus on and the three measures that you are going to present to protect, right, the, the employees uh, in order not to suffer or to experience or to have that hazard, that, that risk uh, to be exposed, right? And we avoid accidents in the company if we do that. So, uh, let me check how many people, four, okay, four breaker rooms will be more than enough. Mm, yeah, let me check, one, two, three, four, five, okay, that will be just four people, one, two, three, four, excellent, one, two, three, and four here. Three. And then the last one, one, two, three, and four, perfect. So we got all the groups ready. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, we're ready to go. And three, two, one, go. You got exactly 10 minutes as soon as you enter the breakout room. See you in a moment. Jackie. Okay, perfect.
Oke. 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 We have to read the uh, the paragraph all at once. Yeah, one by one. One by one. one. Yeah, okay. one by one. Okay, I will start with that then. Okay. He can because I am taking the class. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, I will finish. I wonder if it has been interesting is doing his job lady. Hopefully, hopefully the news employee has been taught to follow the rules by the book. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, okay. Maybe you can be the next, Juan Jose. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to share it. Let me see if I can share it. Okay. The sippy Freddy. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Here in, San, here in San Miguel, there is a famous uh, guy whose uh, nickname is El Cipitillo, and he started selling hot dogs on the street. <laughs> uh, yeah, he started selling hot dogs because he started uh, gastronomy, and he his his hot dogs are different to the traditional ones. And he became so popular that now he has like, I don't know, more than 10 different places in Samuel where he sells the, the hot dogs on the streets. So his business has grown a lot. <laughs> yeah. I told like the photo on Facebook, my uncle is like, he sent me a message. He's like, oh, I see the Cipitillo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, do you practice reading the the paragraph out loud? Actually, we did it. Ah. Okay, so that's where you have to start. Okay. One by one, one by one. Has their substance and sleep trips and for grace. This is the answer in the talking about the last class and we oh. choose yes and we choose um, um, one of the most dangerous can be in a place in your jobs for example mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay 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 got it now mm -hmm. if you prefer i try to share my Yes. Okay. Okay. And now uh, I'm gonna share. Uh, I'm gonna share. Uh, oh, sorry, guys. This is the the last uh, lesson. Uh, lesson. Yes. Yes. We choose one of the other most uh, critical, for example, in the jobs. For me, for me, I think uh, in it's the last one. Yes, the sleep, trips, and fall risk. This is the most common. In, because in the rule, the tools are, are disorganized, disorganized all over the the working areas. Scattered. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, a, that's one of the words that we learned yesterday, scattered. Scar I'll write it in the chat. Okay. I didn't see a word. Scatters. Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't see it. Okay. Scatter. Scatter. It's like the, the organizer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So like, I think like that's regal, the, right? uh -huh, the, the, the most critical hazard in this paragraph. Mm -hmm. And what do you think, Roxy and Anna? Yes, I think the same. Um, sleep streets and false risk. 
are the most uh, dangerous, I think. Okay, okay, you agree. <laughs> yeah. And Anna? Yes, I agree. Okay. So the next step is brainstorm mm -hmm. ideas. Uh, we need three, three ideas of how to prevent accidents related with the mm -hmm. with this hazard. Yes. So okay. Uh, have PowerPoint here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna write it. Okay. The first one. Okay, we are one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, we're going to do four. <laughs> one per each of us. Anna? What do you think an idea to prevent uh, accidents related with with uh, sleeps, trips, and false risks? Mm, to prevent, maybe have a. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, I, I can't hear you. I, can you speak aloud a little bit aloud? I, now, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Did you consider that the three safety measures are not enough? You can create more. Okay, maybe have a special area to to keep the the tools. A special area to keep the tools safety. Safety. Okay, uh, special. Uh, Roxy? Okay, I think that uh, one of one uh, measure of safety could be put signals when the floor is mojado, wet. I don't remember the word. Um, wet flower. Wet flower. Wet. Okay, well, flower, flower, floor. Yes. Instead of signs. Yes. When the floor is wet, um, it's going to prevent the slips or the uh, holes. When the floor is wet or is. Okay, um, Miguel Angel? Yes, um, I think it is really important uh, when you use the, how do you say, escalones or escaleras? Stairs? I... Stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, escalones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and we have to be, be careful with the stairs. For example, uh, there are some information about the use the the balcony. For example, when you down or up a stair, I think this uh, the the. And you know what? We can complete uh, the idea, the Roxy's idea, because I think it, this is the same. Uh, like, um, like the sign that like I install signs to to communicate that the use of the stairs, the stairs, mm -hmm. uh -huh, mm -hmm. and when the floor is wet, mm -hmm. and just I mean the the signs that can communicate important mm -hmm. indications okay mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna complete the roxy's idea instead some signs to prevent when floor is wet or how how to use the stairs 
correctly or just for for communi communicate indication important indications important important indications okay um i think as we were uh, reading in the paragraph in the paragraph um the manager the safety manager has to be has to be informed or has to be like attend like um with everything because in the paragraph uh said that it's it looks like he's not informed about the safety measures so um, maybe you have to hire a good manager that can be concerned about the safety mesh, mesh, measures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to write it. Um, hire a manager, a safety manager, safety manager, manager that can be concerned about the safety measures, about the safe safety. But, okay. Hey, what do you think uh, about that there, Harvey? Yes, if we select the electricity and fire hazard, the first rule can be Signal of the work area. Right? Mm -hmm. Guys, I... And the fish, you know, it, it, uh, it's a disaster on the kitchen, also on the on the floor. The floor. Uh. And oh, I, uh, I have a slide line right or sleep 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 sleep, sleep. They, they sleep uh, almost because the floor was uh, covering by um little drops Both drop of oil mm -hmm. oh mm -hmm. for that dangerous. reason yes it's dangerous you have to be careful okay mm -hmm. another one Mm, well, sleep and clean. Keep work areas well lit and clean. Use a proper illumination in walkways, staircases, ramps, hallways, basements, construction areas, and the areas. I don't know. Oh. Okay. How did you say it? it was a lot? <laughs> One more to go. One more yes, to go. Yes, wait me. Keep areas. Can you hear me, Brenda? Okay, hopefully everybody got the message and they're coming back. All right, so everybody's coming back now.
and we are ready to share just a little bit okay even if you don't have everything finished just what you were working on okay you don't have to have everything done okay it's just to have an idea that you practice right you thought about possible safety measures <clears throat> I need a piece of candy soon. Um, so let's check group number. Well, in the first breaker room, we had Freddy's, Beatriz, uh, Rolando, and Janari. What uh, hazard or risk did you select? Team one, hello, hello. Beatriz, Freddy's, Rolando. We select electricity and electricity hazards. Ele ele electric hazards, okay. Electric hazards. Yes. Electricity and fire hazards. Yeah, but we so only. The only is electricity hazards. Yeah, we. Okay. we, Got we... It. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. So what are the majors that you thought about that to prevent electricity hazards? Uh, to prevent, mm -hmm. the idea is to prevent. Yep. Yeah, yeah. First, I will tell you one. My other partner tell, tell you the another, but I, I, I can find it. Well, I'm right. Okay. Um, I can find when I write it. Okay, the number one. Um, keep cable in order. Keep cables in order, okay. Put cats on ablets. Maybe Sorry? you put cats Put cats on outlets. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Maybe you you have tips on your home and for prevention is good if you put caps on on outlets for safety. For safety. 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 Okay, got it. And that's it. Ready? No. We're missing one, right? Yeah. Ready. Ready. Make sure the cables are not on the wet surface. Make sure the cables are not on the wet surface. Okay. Uh, yeah. And try to keep uh, any liquid right away from the cables. That would be another one. Uh -huh. So excellent. Congratulations. Even though you didn't have that much time, you managed to finish it. Now, team two, which one do you select? Uh, in the team two, we had a uh, Mariela, Diana, and Miguel. I think there was somebody else here, but I don't see the person. Okay. Okay, teacher, uh, we select. Okay. Yep. We select the uh, slips, trips, and false risks. Risk. And the, the measures are create an special area to keep the tools safety and install some things to prevent when the floor is wet or how to use the stairs correctly or uh -huh. just for communicate important indications. And the other is hire a safety manager that can be concerned about the safety measure and be sure that everyone is informed and most come Complete about the safety rules. Comply. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Really clear, nice image. Okay, and organized. Thank okay, you. same. Okay, excellent. Class for you too. Team two, thumbs up. And team three, we had Harvin, Jennifer, Juan Jose, and Gustavo. Which are the hazards or the dangers that you select? That you selected? 
Okay, teacher, we select the hazard uh, electricity and fire hazard. Okay, electricity and fire, yeah. Yes, the first one rule that we have is signal of the electricity areas. Signal, okay, yes, signal, signal all the electricity areas. Yeah, good. Yes, before to start to work, you have to check your if your area is safe. Before starting to work. Yes. Before starting to work. And um, the last one is you use your security tools correctly. Use your security tools correctly. Okay. Straight to the point. Excellent. Thank you so much. Team number three. That was clear. And I think everybody agrees with you. Those are really important measures for preventing those hazards. Team four, last but not least, we have Francisco, Flor, Jackie, and Fabio. We choose uh, sleep, trips, and fall risk. Okay, those and, are the ones that you chose? And we only thought in three for now. <laughs> We use uh, the use of anti-skid adhesive tape in troublesome areas. Okay. Anti-skid, uh, that is the one that prevents that you fall, that you slip. Okay. Yes, like yes. the ones that are, are, are almost in all ladders. Mm -hmm. That That's they right. are. Uh, use proper area rocks or mats for food preparation areas. Mm -hmm. And keep areas clean. Keep areas clean. And that's the trick. <laughs> when you mean clean uh, of uh, liquids, I suppose. A clean of liquids and, and objects. Some slippery <laughs> things. <laughs> uh -huh, or objects, right? That can make or you objects. trip. Uh -huh, that can make you trip. Okay, excellent. Reactions for the team number four, please. Okay, so. Um, you see, even though you were not communicating from team to team, everybody had something different. So that was great. Okay. And one more time, you see that you have a lot of knowledge to share with each other. So teamwork is the key to success. And that's the representation here. I'm going to uh, take the attendance. Okay. Congratulations, everybody. Uh, all the, the participations today were excellent. Beatriz, are you still there? Yes. Okay, Mariela? Present. Brenda? Diana? Present. Teacher, I have a question. Okay. We question. finish tomorrow on the model, and when we're going to start the, the new one? That's a good question. I don't know. Okay. My vacations. Huh? Vacations. Vacations, yeah. Maybe you will have two days or three days. We don't know. Uh, yeah, probably you will start next week, right? So I don't think it's going to be this week. Um, let's check. Uh, we have Floor. I'm not sure if Floor is I'm, still there. Yeah, I'm, I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, don't forget, Flor, that we're having the last 10 minutes. Uh, Laura, hello, good to see you. You're home. Great. Safe and sound. Yes. <laughs> Thank Salva. you. Okay, Francisco and Freddy's. Present teacher. Here, teacher. Okay, Laura is here. Laura, sister. Then we have Jackie. I'm here. Harvin. Present teacher. I think that some classmates call you Jarvin now, but yeah, Harvin is, yes. your, is your name. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's check. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here yet. Okay. Uh, Gustavo. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Miguel. Here, Fabio. 
I'm here. Orlando. I'm here. Yanari. And Roxana. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys, so we're getting to the end of the of today's session. Um uh, I hope. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you learned something, that you had fun with your classmates. Um, there were a lot of different topics, okay? So many things to learn and many things to share. Different and difficult some of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For real, that was surprising. I have all, all my the topics here on my little note, notepad. So, um, <laughs> For tomorrow, for tomorrow, I just want to remind you that we're going to complete the satisfaction uh, survey together in, in during the session, right? Um, so you need to have that information available, the information that they share with you, the link and everything with all the indications. Um, then uh, for tomorrow, we're also going to finish with the contents from the unit four that it's basically just a reading that we're missing uh, and a couple of exercises. A, about the platform, please catch up with the assignment so that tomorrow we finish classes. You don't have anything else to do. You just relax and wait, right, for the next uh, information, for the next module. Um, if you have any doubts about the topics or any exercises or tests from the platform, let me know, okay, so that I can help you out. Um, and basically that's all, okay? If you have, uh, if you missed yesterday's class and you need the explanation, watch the video, okay, about the passive voice uh, with the person perfect because that can be a little bit tricky, a little bit uh, complicated or complex. So check it out and that's it okay so thank you so much for your efforts i know that working and having a lot of responsibilities you some well most of you are married or have children so i know that it's even more complicated right that for people who only work and are single uh, we have some extra time let's say um but despite all you managed to complete your final assignment, right? For the for the speaking um, that was today. And tomorrow we're going to finish with some extra activities with the survey and the celebration, right? So we're done. So see you tomorrow with your favorite shirt or blouse, right? Uh, or t-shirt, because we're going to have the final picture, okay? And um, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you so much. Have a good night and take care of yourself, guys. Thank you, teacher. Hasta la vista. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye, guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See ya. Have a good night. Thank you, too. Miss Ramirez Calderon. I'm here, teacher. Is where is that picture at? Um, is in... La Libertad. No, El Chorreron. In, in, per, in San Fernando, Morazan. Yes, San Fernando. Wow, it's, I, didn't, I like... didn't know that you had come to this area. It, it reminded me of El Chorreron. I haven't gone there, but I seen a lot of pictures, so I thought that it mm -hmm. might be there, but. I wasn't sure it's, that you had come here. It's really, really, really beautiful. It is, it is. Yeah, but the, the water is too cold. <laughs> so you have to, just to, to take the picture and that's it. And that's it, okay. Maybe during summer it's not too cold. Yes, maybe. I was there maybe in April on this year. April this year, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we went to visit there, um, the, all that tour of, of the Ruta de Paz, okay. the, the peace route. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so it's the tattoos and, and that, and that things is really interesting. 
you went to the museum and yes yes we we went for a night but the next year we went to come back but i think that one night is not enough you have to not stay enough. I, I don't know. A couple of days, uh -huh. yes. a couple of nights. At least two nights. Mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Awesome. I don't, I don't have question, teacher. I don't feel really good right now because yesterday I received the second dosis of AstraZeneca. Second dose. Oh. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I think that everything is clear with you. I appreciate appreciate that you are a awesome, awesome teacher. Oh, thank you, very thank much. you so much. I appreciate those words too. And uh, I have the same impression about everybody in this in this group. You're and awesome. you know if you if you will be our teacher, the next model. I won't. I won't. No? Um, no, I won't. The Are you things, sure? Yes, I'm sure. The thing is that I had to ask for permission because uh, I cannot teach in the next, um, well, this month and the beginning of the next one. Why? Because uh, I have some relatives coming to visit and stay um... here in my house. So I have to spend some time with them and if I work every day from morning till the night, I'm not going to be able to to be with them. So I had to sacrifice this for a moment. Next, right? The next two months. One month and a half. Mm, I think okay. it's going to be yeah, probably the 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 next module I won't I won't be teaching, but probably by the end of October, yes, I will be back. Ah, teacher. Yeah. But if if you if you don't have to do that to receive your relative, maybe you could be or teacher or I not. There's a there might be a possibility, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. That's bad. Oh, but that's good for you. But that is bad for us. Because no, I buddy. think that we are, we are used to, I don't know, to listen to you. <laughs> no, but you have to listen to other people. That So it's something good. You're going to have new experiences. Yeah. And hopefully you're going to continue learning, right? A lot. And yeah. the most important is that you can continue with the same classmates. That 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 would be the best. Yes. Uh, that yeah. you keep the group that together. Willing. Yeah, got it yeah. willing. Mm -hmm. yeah okay so thank you so much for staying for and i hope that you feel better uh hopefully with a little bit of rest tonight you will get uh be, your energies back <laughs> yes yes thank you teacher okay thank you. now you're welcome have a good night we'll keep in touch good night. okay you too. bye okay goodbye